Hey everybody, it's Jenny with the Living with Fire program and I'm here at Anderson Park and I noticed that my favorite walking trail seems to be closed off so I'm going to try to figure out what's going on. Let's go check it out. So as you can see the trail here is fenced off and it's very overloaded with brush and you can't really walk on it very enjoyably and it actually looks to me like it is a wildfire hazard. So we actually got in contact with Vince from Goat Grazers and he is actually in charge of fixing this problem for us. So we're going to check that out. So I found Vince Thomas from Goat Grazers and he's going to tell us a little bit about what Goat Grazers is and, and the projects that he works on. So Vince, tell me a little bit about Goat sure. Grazers. Sure. Uh, goat Grazers, we run uh, goats for weed abatement, fire line construction, uh, biomass rem uh, removal. Um, and today we're at uh, Anderson Park, which is part of Washoe County Parks and Recreation. And uh, they got uh, a grant fund through the Nevada Land Trust uh, to come out here and get this trail opened back up. Um, very busy park, a lot of joggers, hikers, walkers um, with their dogs. And so we're getting the weeds knocked down so they have a, a path they can follow again. Wow, that's, that's keep really it safe. cool. So Vince, how long would a project like this take? Uh, we're scheduled on this project for three weeks and uh, we're thinking uh, we may be out of here a little early so but we'll stay until the job's done if right. it's longer than three or or shorter so okay and so after it's finished how long do the results last well with the, it's not a one-time treatment uh, there's still a seed bank in the ground um, we prefer if we can to get the goats in uh, before it goes to seed so they can eat those seeds and either through mechanical or digestive action um, vastly reduce the number um, of seeds that are coming out the other end um, and I always tell people what comes out the other end that's yours to keep for free so <laughs> <laughs> makes it makes a nice uh, weed fertilizer but it, it doesn't kill them a hundred percent but okay. it does reduce them um, so uh, the goats will uh, eat it down they don't pull out by the roots um, what they're doing is they're they're damaging the plant uh, the plants gonna go into root uh, root reserves and um, bring them back again and and over time we can get a change more native grasses bunch grasses whatever we're uh, looking for very cool Okay, so it sounds like this project is really beneficial for the walkers and the joggers and the people that enjoy the park, but it's also really important because they're reducing the, the wildfire fuels, which is what our viewers care about. Exactly, yes. Um, they'll eat it down. Um, there's going to be less vegetation, uh, you know, flammable vegetation. The noxious, noxious weeds are going to be gone. Um, you know, a lot of the plants that are that dry out and that are real uh, volatile to fire, the goats come in, eat them, and, and so we reduce the fire risk. Very good, very good. So they pretty much eat anything? Pretty much anything and everything. Okay. Um, they'll even eat your, your rose bushes. So, oh, so they gotta watch out careful. for that. Yes. <laughs> now, if somebody wanted to get a hold of you and, and do a project in their community, how would they do that? Uh, we have a website, goatgrazers.com. Mm -hmm. um, phone number is listed there and uh, email. So. All right. Anyway. Very good. So goatgrazers.com is how you can get a hold of Vince if you have a fuels reduction project you need to work on or uh, you know your community has a park that's overgrown with brush. Sounds like Vince is your guy that you need to get a hold of. So thanks very much Thank for you. letting us Thank know you. what's going on.